All right, family, so we are back at it again with another crazy video. Now, today's video, I don't know if y'all been living under a rock, all right? But it's a video surfing the internet right now. Uh, apparently, this black guy, okay, he wore a white t-shirt uh, that say, N-word for Trump. Okay, it doesn't look it doesn't say N word. I mean, you, you know what I'm trying to say, but I can't say it on the internet. I can't say it on YouTube. Let me pause. I can say it on Rumble, but I can't say it on YouTube. Without further ado, make sure y'all go follow your boy on Rumble. You know what I'm saying? Follow your boy on Rumble. It's all in the link description box below. But yeah, so the uh the video is in the internet right now with this word, but however, people feel offended by it. And it's black people that feels offended by his shirt. I don't know why, but we're gonna find out today. So without further ado, man, let's get it. Let's Go. Now, y'all, you always got some idiots out there. You actually had this fool who is black wearing an in, a shirt with the N word on it, uh, s s speaking on behalf of Donald Trump. Uh, if, if you want to see somebody who clearly got was in the movie Get Out, um, it's this idiot right here. I'm here to support President Trump. You want to know why I'm here to support President Trump? Because they done did black men like this for decades. Make up charges and put them so I know Trump is innocent. I support Trump against this corrupt, two-tiered justice system. That's why I'm here to show my support as a black man for Trump. And I'm wearing my shirt, niggas for Trump 2024, and I mean that. What do you think about the indictments? Oh, it's a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> it's going around the country. You know, Fanny, Fanny Willis, she's a, uh, she went to school with my sister. She's full of shit. She was full of shit then. <laughs> so she's a puppet for the white liberal that, that is controlling everything. She's in front, but the white liberal back there pulling those strings, telling her what to do. That's what I think about her, making a fool of herself. Do you think it's going to help his election? Oh, of course it is. It's going to elevate him all the way. I think we should make Trump king. That's how I feel. <laughs> We wouldn't should make him be, king. Um, wouldn't that be like kind of like communistic? No, nah, that's no way near communist. Now nah, we're just gonna make him king, but we still got our freedoms and rights and everything. He fought that. Yeah, Trump for King 2024. That's actually my URL. I own that URL. You own that URL? I can't get your name. Really? Oh, my name is Niggas for Trump 2024. I can't. Derek write that. Gilson, former. That's my nigga. Former candidate. I'm a former candidate for New York State Governor. Derek Gibson, look me up. Nigga, I'm dead. I live up to it, too. I can scrap, too, but I can get down, boy. <laughs> Not better. I can't. I got a proven track record. Are you want to try me out? Try to take this shirt off. I'll give you some of it. Well, you can always count on idiots uh, standing in support of uh, another idiot. Okay, let me get my let me get my states on this. Real when quick. trans rights, let, let me explain something to this young fella right here. You know what I'm saying? So first of all, I want to say this. I don't think there's nothing wrong with supporting Trump at all. Now, making Trump king, I don't know about all that. You know, I, look, because I feel like in today's society, we put people on on pedestals that they they're not supposed to be on. You feel me? Like the only person that we're supposed to be making king is Jesus. The only person that we're supposed to be worshiping is Jesus. Like that's that's what I believe. Now I don't believe in putting another human being such as Trump on a pedestal and say, yeah, I'm gonna make this man king. But however, I do want to say that Trump should be the president of the United States of America because the mindset that he has and the way that he is trying to elevate America and make America great again, that is what we need. You feel me? That is what we need. I feel like this, that's the type of person that we need into, uh, in, as our president. I don't know what I was, I don't know what I was about to say, but I definitely was not for the state president, but I feel like that is the type of person that we need as presidents. But for you to call this man an idiot and say, oh, uh, uh, this is what happens when another idiot supports another idiot. I just feel like, bro, why do you, why do people hate Trump so much? What is your reasoning behind hating Trump so much? To the point where you're calling him idiot, you're calling him this, you're calling him that. What is your honest reason? I guarantee we can list about five, maybe ten things that Trump did when he was as pre when he was in office. And let's see if you can name 10, 15 things that Biden did since he was in office. I, bro, I seen a video and this girl said, actually, I'm going to play the video. I'm, I'm going to play the video because I got other videos to show y'all because, bro, I, black people for Trump, man, this is crazy. This is crazy. I'm loving to see. I'm loving the fact that we're coming together and we finally agreeing on something. Instead of killing each other each and every day, we're coming together together and we're honestly agreeing on something. 
and this something is something good, okay? So I'm actually happy, bro. Black people for Trump, for real, for real. But uh, let me show y'all a couple more videos. Shout out to Shaney Rich, okay? Because Shaney Rich, man, he's been going around interviewing a lot of black people about Trump. You got a couple people who still voting for Biden. You got a couple people who said, hey, look, we all for Trump. You feel me? I'm all for Trump. Trump 2024. That's, that's what I got to say. You feel me? But let's watch this video, bro. Because uh, it, all three of these videos I'm going to show y'all, it's crazy. It's crazy, but it's it's brilliant. It's brilliant. As black people, you know, we f*** with Trump. Yeah, I f*** with Trump. I don't know why everybody got against him. Yo, he was making f the breadwinners, you heard? I'm a Democrat too, but f*** it. We Trump. We need Trump back in office right now. I'm going to be honest with you. I f*** with Trump. To be honest with you, bro, for real, Trump really did this shit. And I like him because he's about money. It wasn't about no politics. He wanted to make America great again. Through Trump. That boy Trump be making sure they get their bread. I ain't gonna lie. I'm thinking Trump for life. Trump for life. I ain't gonna lie. Blood Donald Trump. Trump wanted us to get off our ass and get some money. Trump 2024. This is true. You made everybody hold a piece of money. You know I mean? Trump really up both. So Trump running it how it's supposed to be ran. And people just can't take it. And he putting out facts in front of the people. He ain't lying to the people. People just don't want to. What was y'all wet in 2020? I'm just trying, what was y'all wet? What was y'all wet? We needed y'all then. Now y'all want to pop up out the blue. But I'm glad y'all popping up out the blue because guess what? The man's running again. So, hey, I, look, I can't complain. You feel me? And this year, I'm able to vote. So guess what? Your boy, you already know. You know what I'm saying? Your boy able to vote now. So that's just one extra vote. You feel me? <laughs> you feel me? All my 2003 babies, hey, look, man, I need y'all to vote, okay? I need y'all to vote and vote wisely, okay? Don't be voting because you hear this person say this about Trump and you hear this person say that and this person say that. Like, no, bro, don't listen to nobody else. Do your own research and then make your make your decision off your own personal research your own personal research. I feel like a lot of people don't vote for Trump because they hear, hey, Trump said this and Trump said that. Not even getting the full context, bro. That's like reading the Bible and you not even reading it in the context and you think that, oh, God destroyed this city. Just like, read it in context. You have to honestly go deeper than what it's showing you. Like, people just don't, and that's just the thing with life, period, period. They could tell you one thing, but you have to go deeper. You have to honestly go deeper into your research. So, if you're voting, if you're voting in 2024, if you're old enough to vote in 2024, like I am, all my 2003 babies, I need y'all to go ahead and vote, but do your research first. Do not just make any type of vote. If Kanye West ain't a runner, don't, don't. Look at that, bro. The government be watching you, bro. They don't, they don't want to hear the truth. My camera just, everything just cut off. Everything just cut off. Whole thing just stopped recording and everything, but I, I forgot what I was saying. I was saying something about Kanye. Oh, yeah. Don't just vote for Kanye because he's Kanye. Like, actually do your research behind who you voting for, Okay. I just want to leave it at that because apparently everything just like not going my way right now. So let's just get back to the video, bro. That's crazy. Trump, man, we rocking. He putting out facts in front of the people. He ain't lying to the people. People just don't want to accept the truth. Trump, man, we rocking with you. So you, Trump, my dog. He was up. Trump put the money in our pocket. Trump had the country on a better path as far as economically. He put America first, so it makes sense. I like someone who likes to play his people first. Trump 2024, my brother. They know they can't get him for none of the real shit. We get it, game. Yeah. I ain't used to like that. But now, bro, I realize that he meant well for the country and shit, bro. We need that back. Free Trump. Trump 2024. They all tricked y'all dumbass to get Trump out the chair, and now look how that shit on backfired on y'all dumbass. Trump got my back. Trump for life. Down Trump. He showed his love. He showed his and he love, didn't man. stop. 2024 Trump. Trump. Trump 2024. From Baltimore. I ain't gonna lie. Trump my mother. No. Uh, as much as they talk shit about Trump, he probably the best thing for America right now. No cap. Really. My man Trump, he's gangster. I like him. I love him. Make America great again. Let's go. Trump 2024, Trump 2028, Trump 2032. Man, listen. Trump for life. As black people, you know. We Bro, y'all don't understand how powerful this is. I don't know if this is true or not. Well, actually, it could. No, actually, it is true because I've seen proof, okay? But the black vote. The black vote has increased. It has increased. Bro, y'all don't understand. Like, look, I don't care about race. I don't care what race vote for Trump. But, bro, most of the black people are Democrats, okay? And they're voting for people like Biden. They're voting for people like him. Because they don't know the truth.
They don't know the truth. And when the truth is given to people, they run away from it. They don't want to hear it. That's why they didn't want to vote Trump back in because they don't want to hear the truth. Let me look. Even when I preach the gospel about Jesus Christ, when I preach the gospel, people don't want to hear the truth because it's power behind the name of Jesus Christ. It's power behind it's power behind that name. I'm not trying to go all into preachy deaky, you feel me? But I'm trying to make a point of saying that when the truth is given to somebody and when the truth is actually in today's society, when the truth is given and the truth is heard and people they run away from it. They run but you could tell them a whole bunch of lies like Biden done and they will oh my gosh, they will feed cuz they cuz Biden is telling people what they want to hear, not what they need to hear. That's the problem. I'm telling you the good gospel, what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. So that's why people run away from it. People may unsubscribe. Do what you got to do. But at the end of the day, I'm telling you, Trump is the truth, bro. He's the truth. He's the truth for the America. You feel me? We need Trump back in office, man. <laughs> we need Trump back in office. It's another video. Bro, I'm sweating in here, bro. It is hot. Dog. Y'all see the sweat, bro. That's how lit I am, bro. I'm just excited to see that people are actually waking up, bro. People are actually waking up, bro. Come on, let's watch this one, man. Trump or Biden? Biden. Why? I mean, Trump did what he had to do. He pissed everybody off already, so. What are some of the good things that Biden has done? Um, I feel like he's brought a lot of people together. He's been unifying people? Yeah, absolutely. How so, do you think? I mean, he said pretty much in a roundabout way, if you aren't black, you won't vote for him. So I feel like he's trying to get everybody together on the same page, you know? I kind of took that a little. What? What? Let me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Absolutely. How so, do you think? I mean, he said pretty much in a roundabout way, if you aren't black, you won't vote for him. So I feel like he's trying to get everybody together on the same page, you know? I kind of took that a little bit like racist that he said that. I'm black, so I ain't take it that way. Do you think that Hillary Clinton should be locked up? No. Why? Because she stood for what she, you know, believed in. It was, it was oh. the world that didn't believe that a, a female president would be substantial or like can exist so i mean did you hear about like the whole email scandal with her and all that i did, I did and i think it was just the universe what if it's like the case, then let's talk about trump with the the whole situation the vote, that happened in 2022 mm, yeah. with biden let's talk about that bro what are you talking about man with At, what the whole capital thing you had all these people running up in there you created this situation trump how did Trump create it? You had all, all these, these people. Supporters yeah. were... So you would say that because of what Hillary Clinton did in 2016 with the emails, it's justified because of the Capitol? Yes. Democrat or Republican? Uh, Democrat. Democrat? Uh, Why? Why? Can you just maybe tell me some of the good policies from the Democrats? No. No? No. That junk is like honestly sad. It's sad that people are like they're leaning towards a certain way. Maybe because they was raised in it. Maybe because I guess this is like I said, I mean, yeah, maybe because they was raised in it or something. Or maybe because they see their friends do it. So they, oh, I'm this because, yeah, because I was raised in it. Like, that's why I say people need to do their own research, bro. If you don't, if you live your life going based off what somebody else done told you, or if you live your life based off, I was raised in it. Oh, I'm a Christian because I was raised in it. But if you don't know the history behind what you're trying to follow, bro, anybody that did their research can, can debunk you right, like, right then and there. They can get you out of there right then and there make you feel stupid, bro. That's why you need to do your research, for real, for real. And I don't even think about, like, these whole denominations and everything like that, this whole side of Republican, Democrat, and uh, conservative, liberals, Christian, Muslims, all these different things, all they're doing is dividing us, bro. We all want something, okay? We all want something, whether it's peace. Brother, it's, we all just looking for the same thing. Some of us looking for the same thing. We all want America to be great again. We all want inflation to go down a little bit. We all want all these different things. How about we come together and say, you know what? Let's work as a team. Which one, which president can make this stuff happen that we want? Oh, wait, we already had him in freaking office. But guess what? People done pushed him away because he was too honest. He was telling the truth. He kept it a buck. He wasn't sugarcoating nothing. That's why people pushed Trump the way. 
I guarantee if he was sitting up there like Biden, can't even remember his speech. Uh, 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 yeah, so, uh, like, come on, bro. He's sitting, y'all, that's who y'all vote for in office. The oldest president. <laughs> the old, bro, he done lost all brain cells, bro. Bro, he, man, come on, bro. We got to be real. We seriously got to be real. You talking about your Democrat, but don't even know why you're Democrat. Come on, let's just be honest, bro. That's like me saying, yeah, I'm Christian, but don't even know why I'm Christian. Bro, somebody could come up to me and instantly knock me out the knock me out the water right there because I don't even know my history. I don't even know nothing about what I'm trying to follow. Oh, yeah, I'm conservative. Why are you conservative? What's some good things conservative did? Uh, come on, man. Anyways, I got one more video for y'all, bro. One more video. I'm sorry, I'm pumped up right now. It's, it's good to see that people are coming together and honestly, we're, we are on the verge of getting America back great again. Oh, I'm so proud. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, come on, come on. If Joe Biden was here right now, what would you tell him? Do your job. Yes. Get your yes. mental state together so you can remember some of this <laughs> and come out here and help these damn black people that are suffering in the hood. Can't pay their goddamn rent. Can't pay their light bill and be struggling for years not not just black people man white white people too asians too uh every race let's just say every race let's not just leave it at one race let's every race okay but anyways you're speaking your stuff how do you feel about the radical left you know i i feel as if it's absolutely incredible oh, how boy. they feel as if they own black people right they feel as if they can tell black people how to believe how to think but they don't do a single thing for us. Look at Chicago, look at Detroit, look at every single city, every majority black city where Democrats, where the left is in charge, and they're not doing a single thing for black and brown people, but they want our votes. They want our votes. But what have they done to deserve our votes? Not a single thing at all. If Joe Biden was here right now, what would you tell him? Man, wait, up. Gas like $7 right now. You tripping, bro. I can't even fill up my car. $10 used to get me everywhere I want to go. Now I can't do or put Trump back in. That boy had me uh, pandemic up. That boy had me uh, flexing. I uh, had all my Z's flexing. You feel me? We all was gucci up, racked up. You feel me? But now Biden got us all struggling back to selling. Like, we need that boy Trump back in here on God. Bro. You feel Trump, Trump 24, 24. If Joe Biden was here right now, is, what would you tell him? This is amazing, bro. This is honestly amazing. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Me personally, I love it. I love to see that people are coming together, bro. This is what we need. This is what we freaking need, y'all. We need this. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what's your reason for voting for Trump, but at the end of the day, we all struggling like crazy right now. You know what I'm saying? We all struggling like crazy. We have a president in office right now that ain't doing nothing at all. At all, but taking money, 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 money. Like, I mean, seriously, our president office ain't doing nothing, bro. Can't remember a speech. Can't, re can't, his mental was all jacked up, bro. All jacked up, bro. All we could really do is pray for him. We got to pray for him, bro. We seriously got to pray for Biden, man. Pray that his mental get back into the right state because, bro, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Not only that, pray for America, bro. Seriously, pray for America. Like, man, we, every prayer, bro. Every prayer needs to be centered around praying for America. You feel me? Like, we need to pray for this country. This country, it, a lot of people come to this country because of freedom, because it gives them opportunity. But man, bro, the people that was raised in this country, born in this country, born in the United States, bro, man, it's rough. It's rough. I'm not gonna lie, it's rough out here for a cat. You feel me? But man, seriously, Trump 2024, man, Trump all day long, bro. I'm, I'm, you, psh, look, I, I, look, I'm Trump all day. You feel me? Trump all day. Once I figured out the truth about Trump and I stopped going off what my peers was telling me about Trump and stopped going off what the news was telling me about Trump, I opened my eyes up myself and said, oh my gosh, Trump is not racist. He's not. He's just an honest man. He just keep it a buck, bro. He keep it a buck 50. He, he ain't shouldn't go nothing. However, you got Biden over here. He should go to everything. He tell you what you want to hear, not what you need to hear. That, that's Biden for you. Anyways, Biden out of office. 
Trump in office. Let's get it. Let's go. We need that. I love y'all boys. Appreciate y'all stopping by. Let me know what y'all think about this video. Let me know what y'all think about every video that I done reacted to. Yeah. So, hey, man, we on top, baby. I love y'all. Thank y'all. I, I don't want to get off of it. I don't want to leave y'all, but I got to. Okay. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.